Hey everyone, it's Christine here with the OCDSB Outdoor Education Centers, here to share with you a few ways that I make and record observations when I'm out in nature. Oftentimes when I go for walks in my neighborhood, I come across really cool discoveries. And I'll snap some pictures and be able to put them into my observations. Now, I don't do observations like most people do. I find journaling doesn't work for me. I find it tedious and just not something that really interests me. But when I come out in nature, even in a local park or path like this one, I often will find beautiful specimens, sometimes not so beautiful specimens, that maybe I do or don't know what they are. That's when I turn to my iNaturalist app. I can input whatever it is that I found into the app and it'll help tell me what it is and then I can do some more research from there. When making your observations in iNaturalist, you're going to select the photo icon and then scroll through and find the photo that you want to observe. Select next and it's going to take you to a screen saying what did you see and give you a couple of suggestions of what it may have been. I'm going to select the Siberian crab apple because it looks the most similar. Now I'm going to make a note of where I found it because this particular photo didn't save a location uh, and I'm going to go back later and edit the location. So when it asks or tells me that it's missing the location, I'm just going to select save anyways. Um, that way I'll go back later and fix that. So now you'll notice I have that a couple waiting for upload. Um, that's because I wait until I'm in Wi-Fi, uh, which I am. So I'm going to select upload and you'll notice it uploads the observations. Now you'll notice that there's some little speech bubbles besides previous observations. That's because other people from Citizen Science have gone in and confirmed my observation, which then makes it observation grade. Sometimes I just get so excited about something that I found that I'll take a video of it so that I can share it with others at a later date. Check it out. Okay guys, this is so crazy cool. My son and I, actually my son, just discovered this little guy crawling in the local school parking lot. Uh, these guys are attracted to light and can fly even though they prefer water. So much to his dismay, I told him I was bringing it home to bring it over to a local water source in um, our closest forest. So what are some observations you've made today? Um, in case you don't know, he thought this was a giant cockroach. Um, it's actually a giant water bug. They are one of the predators of the ponds. Uh, they can take down frogs and small fish. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this short video has helped to inspire you to get out and make your own observations in nature.